Hey guys, in this video, we are going to go over some settings from Otter's dashboard. To get here, click on the settings tab on the left, then click on Otter. So on this dashboard, we have a number of different sections with a few options. The first one is modules, where we can enable or disable custom CSS, animations, and visibility conditions. They're all enabled by default, so you may have seen these settings on pages where you've added an order block. So here's an example where we can see these modules on the right hand side. If you'd like to turn one or all of them off, you can do so from this dashboard. So moving on to other, we have an option that says make section your default block for pages. So remember when I created a new page, a section block was added immediately. So turning this option off will stop this default behavior. So your new pages will be blank like this. They'll no longer have the section block by default. So the next option is optimize animations CSS. And this option can be turned on if you only want to load CSS for the animations that are used on the page. We also recommend regenerating styles after turning this option on. You can turn the anonymous data tracking option on if you'd like to become a contributor. And remember we just mentioned regenerating styles. So clicking on this button will delete all other generated CSS files. So over here we have some licensing information and this is where you can either activate or deactivate Order Pro. And below this we can find a few useful links to the documentation page, support service and so on. Now let's move to the integrations tab. Okay, so the first section we have is Google Maps. So before using Order's Google Maps block, you would have to provide a Google Maps API key. You can either add it to this field or in the Google Maps block settings. To get an API key, you can click on this link and you'll be taken to a Google resource where you can find information on how to use the Google Cloud Console to get a Google Maps API key. And just make sure you enable both the Maps JavaScript API as well as the Places API. And once you're done, you'll be able to access your credentials, which would look something like this, where you can copy your Google Maps API key. And then you can go back to orders settings and paste it in this field. Click on save once you're done. Once you've done this, your Google Maps block should be ready to go. Now we can move down to the next section, which is fonts module. And this is a pro feature. So keeping this feature turned on would allow Google Fonts to save locally, and this could actually speed up your website. Now let's expand the Google Recapture API section to reveal its options. And there we have two separate fields where we need to add both a site key and a secret key. So you can click on this link to get your Recapture API keys. And once you're on this page, you'll need to register a new site. So you'll need to enter your website's information and make sure you select a suitable Recapture type. Once you're done and you've accepted the terms, click on the submit button. You'll see this page where you can copy your site key, go back to order settings, paste it in the required field, go back and do the same for the secret key. Click on the save button once you're done. Okay, so that was a brief overview of some of order's settings. I really hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.